let's talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing this week. Week one is all about understanding the unique requirements and opportunities that online learning environments, or OLEs, can offer to your projects or classrooms. Crafting an OLE, and it is just that, crafting, is as much an art as it is a meticulous pedagogical practice. In this week, I'm going to talk about some of the best practices for syllabus creation and policy writing. I'm going to be throwing a lot of different ideas and details at you, but overall, there are a few main takeaways that I want you to remember above all else. One, an online learning environment requires a high level of clarity and consistency in communication practices, particularly from the instructor or facilitator. Two, crafting your OLE is a practice in analysis, application, and often trial and error. Not everything we talk about this week will necessarily need to be applied to your specific project. However, this module is designed to give you options from which you can select and reshape your own plans. Three, above all else, this week is about creating a comfortable and clear space for learning something that is often more difficult, or at least more time-consuming, to achieve online than face-to-face. -face. With a little bit of extra work, you can be successful. Four. Finally, always keep a learner-centered perspective to everything you do in the online learning environment. Craft accordingly and with intentionality. This means that you also need to remember that your project and learners may have special requirements or needs. It is up to you to determine what is in the best interests of your learners.